Hello everybody, welcome to my Chaos Renegades guide for Blood Bowl 3. So uh, yeah, let's see, what, let's see what Cyanide says. Strong points are adaptable, uh, not really. Can contain up to three big guys. Yeah, like that's okay on the surface, right? Unfortunately, two of the big guys that you can get are bad. Um, easy access to mutation skills, yes, except mutation skills aren't very good. Uh, weak points is animosity, makes the passing game risky. And no, the passing game is relevant, but animosity is a minor hindrance, true. Limited striking power at creation. They literally have the most striking power at creation because they can have three mighty blow players. They, they're like, they have the most, literally the most striking power at creation. What a bizarre weak point. And high cost of team rerolls, yes. Okay, so... Let's have a look. This is this is the build that I would make, the three reroll build. The only build I would consider for this team. I would not make use of the three big guys because, you know, I like to think of myself as a good coach. So I would rather have reliability. I mean, you still want a bit of power. So Troll and Ogre, they are the most reliable big guys. The Minotaur and the Rat Ogre are both like blitzy ones with wild animal, well, not wild animal, animal savagery and whatever the other one is <laughs> uh, called now. You've got to have the Dark Elf. The Dark Elf's great, to be honest. And uh, the Goblin's fine. Gives you the throw teammate. The Orc's fine as well. So, uh, yeah, two more dedicated fans. Three re-rolls. Like, this is, this is a fine team. This is genuinely a fine team. It's, it's not the best, but it's not terrible. So, uh, yeah, can have a look at the players. So the Dark Elf is, yeah, he's super good. He's a Dark Elf, right? Six, three, two, three, nine plus... He's, he's just a Dark Elf lineman that gets uh, general agility and mutations on primaries. So he gets two heads. Um, that's his main one. You can So you generally you want to make this guy a ball carrier, right? Block, dodge, sure hands, two heads. And he's really good. You can make him a sacker. Or I've seen people do that. You can go wrestle, dodge, two heads, horns, you know, tackle, strip ball, that sort of thing. You can make him, also give him big hand uh, if you make him a ball carrier. So he's pretty cool. Like he, he is more expensive than a, than a dark elf lineman, but you know the fact that he's he's on like a different team makes him more valuable. He, he, like he is a positional on any other, like a dark, a dark elf lineman is a positional on a bash team, right? He's, so yeah, he's super good. Like so he, he gets two heads, basically the only one. Um, but that kind of makes him agility five, especially now that well agility one plus, seeing as they've split passing. You know the scenes they split passing off. It makes agility worth less so the fact you can get two heads is super good um, and you can give him stats as well if you want like it's fine so yeah really really good player and basically that's one of the best things about the team now and uh, yeah you get an orc he's fine he's got animosity which is basically irrelevant it'll be sometimes frustrating for new players but mostly irrelevant uh, five three three five ten plus so yeah he's a bit slower more armor um, he will want block and guard on doubles because, you know, that's all you ever want. <laughs> Mutation wise, none of them are really any good. So, yeah, great. <laughs> Just block and guard, I guess. Um, or, or maybe give him more armor. Like, I'm, 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 I'm honestly liking armor more and more uh, the more I think about it. Human lineman, the same. Block, maybe guard, maybe armor. Um, Seeing as these are linemen, you you can give them, you can give them claw right, but claw mighty blow is has been nerfed a lot, and it's really not that exciting to build like a block tackle mighty blow claw guy. It's just, I think you probably will, you probably do want somebody like you definitely want a block tackle mighty blow guy on your team, and these are the ones who are going to have to do it. So you know you're probably going to have to build a two like blitzers. Two of these you're probably going to have to build like blitzers with block tackle mighty blow. And then probably claws. So you probably have a couple of them, but it's 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 rough. It's really rough. Uh, the goblin's great because he gets thrown by the troll or the ogre. Obviously, he's not that great in normal play, 40k. But he does get the he does get the mutations right. So he gets he gets two heads. So he'll that will make him essentially dodge anywhere in a two plus, which is really nice. And then from there you can make him you can make him have uh, horns and wrestle you know strip even so you can make him like a ball sacking one or you can do but essentially the two heads is, is the big one uh, monstrous mouth is also just better than catch so you know for the one turn monstrous mouth is, is a decent skill on him uh, 
depending on how how many skills he gets and stuff. So not terrible. And then we've got in this team the ogre and the troll. So ogre 140k. He's got ogre stats. He's fine. He gets guard. He, now the thing is here, you can get mutations on secondaries. So it just makes him so expensive. That's the thing. It just makes them so expensive that I just would give him guard and done and maybe brawler as a second skill. Like I'm so over big guys. that just TV and efficiency run wild. He is a troll. He's got a new skill of projectile vomit in Blood Bowl 3, which you will use sometimes, right? You can't you can't really turn over very it's not very likely to turn over. Um because you don't you don't fall over if you roll the one, right? The, the one doesn't end your turn. It, it only ends your turn if you roll the one and then you roll the then you roll the ten plus. But that's still a one in thirty six, right? Which isn't great. <laughs> but it's a one in thirty six instead of a one in nine. So you're always you're pretty much always going to three dice instead because it's a one in twenty seven. So you're a one in thirty six to turn over with him, which isn't great. So and he is a troll, right? Just take guard on him. He's done. Maybe Brawler. I, I don't like paying 40 more TV for Block. He's also slightly more expensive now. And they do have some options that I w won't take. <laughs> so we can have a look at those options now. Okay, so one of these options is the Renegade Human Thrower, who costs 75k. He's only got a passing of 3+. plus. He's got Safe Pair of Hands instead of Sure Hands, and Safe Pair of Hands is a terrible skill that I would never, ever, ever, ever pick on purpose. And he's also got Animosity All Teammates, so it's just, he's just, he's just trash. Would never consider taking him. Um, I don't recommend you do. If you do, then I guess you can give him Leader. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> the Skaven, some people will take this. The Skaven isn't terrible, right? He is faster, but worse AV. Um, yeah, especially if, like, you know, my plan of, of saving up to give people plus AV, right? That means he's going to get plus movement at cheaper, in a way. But it's just not necessary to have that extra movement, I don't think. Um, I mean, you could, though, right? He's he's fine. You, you could make him... You could build him, like, as your Blitzer. But the Armor 7, well, 8 plus, I don't really like. But then the movement, you know, if you can hit and run. He's not terrible. I just don't feel a need for him and I, I don't like him but it, it's fine it's fine you, you could also try and get him to movement nine that, that's certainly an option right try and get trying to get him to movement nine actually so depending on format if it was a format where you could where you could l just give him stats <laughs> basically getting to movement nine could be pretty good um so yeah so th there's definitely a niche for him if stats are on the table and so yeah, then there's two more big guys. You can only have three big guys, but you've got your choice of these four. It would be crazy to have both of these because the Rattoga's got Animal Savagery, which is an absolutely terrible new trait. Um, lots of people think it's great because you can you can get something out of him if you have somebody to hit. But those people are wrong, in my humble opinion. I think he's terrible. I would not take a Rattoga for any team. I think they are trash. And uh, I mean, it looks cool. Well, great model in it. Great model. I uh, can't pass anymore. It's pretty much the same stats as he always was. 150, Frenzy, Tail, you know, 4 plus low and a mighty blow. He does get mutations on secondaries, but again, not on primaries. So you're going to go the same old, same old. Maybe he's Juggernaut. Maybe, maybe Claw. You can maybe he's forget guard because, you know, you want to be blitzing these guys if you take them. Um, so, yeah, maybe Claw. But then, of course, if you gave him Claw, that would counteract whoever you're standing next to them to activate them as well. Uh, there you go. And then the Minotaur has, ah yes, Unchanneled Fury. This is like just basically a rename of Wild Animal. Um, I like this. I like that he's a skinnier Minotaur. Some people haven't really liked the new Minotaur model. I, I quite like him. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's just a Minotaur. Pretty pretty similar to the Rat Ogre, except he gets horns instead of tail. And he gets Unchanneled Fury instead of Animal Savagery. I think he's better because three dice blocks are good. Um, yeah, he's also slower, isn't he? He's also slower than the uh, than the Ogre. But you know, horn, horns is a good skill, and and animal savagery is terrible, and tail isn't that relevant. And I think you can't have both of them, right? I think having two of the frenzy guys is too much. Like you could, 
You could, but you know, generally one of them wants to be blitzing every turn. So yeah, Juggernaut, and I guess Claw, like it, it's not terrible. You're gonna need something to, to be able to beat Dwarves and stuff. So yeah, there you go, that's that's Chaos Renegades. Um, they're another bit of a fun have a team, like you know, they're not super competitive. They've, they've lost their niche from, from Blood Bowl, uh, you know, CRP where, where they had where they had low TV min max claw palm <laughs> that, that was their niche uh, with a great ball carrier they've pretty much lost that niche yes they can have a great ball carrier like you know you can just give him blood show hands and stats so like a dwarf runner the problem is and, and you can kind of min max kind of rubbish killers right block tackle mighty blow claw it's just not the same though mighty blow claw interaction is nerfed there's no piling on so so min maxing those killers isn't that good anymore they can be fun having with three with three big guys. The problem is to do that, you've got to go down to like one reroll, uh, which is which is pretty bad. <laughs> um, uh, oh no, you could have two, couldn't you? You could just simply remove the goblin and a reroll. So you, you could have eleven players with two rerolls. I mean, I wouldn't, but I can see like th you know th three big guys can give you some fun, and again, a bit of a challenge in like a, maybe it's a local league or whatever. And yeah, more of a fun having team than a competitive one. But you know, they're kind of cool, right? It reminds us of Second Ed with the uh, Chaos All Stars and stuff for the Ogre, the Troll and the Minotaur, and the Dark Elf and stuff. So, yeah, not terrible, um, but definitely not great. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.